Hey, y'all. Hey, it's your girl, A. So today is a better day for me. I hope y'all all have an amazing day. I have gotten used to this short, boring hairstyle. Um, for those of you guys who hasn't seen my latest video or my newest video, um, I did showcase me cutting my hair off. Girl, it was about time, okay? My hair broke off so bad, and it just didn't seem like it was growing. I don't know what's going on. I don't wear wigs on a daily basis, so... I don't know if it was the two cornrows on a daily, if it was the bun, but my hair just broke off so bad. And I just got tired of wearing the two cornrows all the time. I just really got tired of it. And I figured I'm going to just have to cut it. I mean, I, I did cut it on camera. I cut it on my own. I really wasn't sure how I was going to go about doing this. You know, I stood in front of the mirror within the recording and was just like overwhelmed. Like you ever get like so overwhelmed, you just get stuck. I felt stuck. And then I started feeling like anxious and then I felt anxiety. I just was feeling a whole lot of different feelings at one time. And I just said to myself, if you don't cut this right, if you're going to walk around, you're going to look real effing stupid. I just figured it out and it came out great. Um, but there are some styles that I really want to try with it. I haven't accomplished like the finger wave style. Like y'all don't even know how much mousse I use, style and foam I used uh, to try the, the finger waves out. And, but I did find a style that, um, you know, was suitable. I like it. It's cute. I got used to it on day three. Day one and two was like, girl, what did you just do to yourself? I would have rather rocked them two cornrows if I had to rock that out until I figured it out. But you know what I'm saying? It's coming along and I like it. I, hopefully in the long-term journey of growing my hair back, I find other styles that I can connect with. You know what I mean? And will vibe with my face shape. Because y'all know I always tell y'all I got a long ass head. Okay? I got a long ass head. But in the meantime, you know, I'm just going to rock it short. And then when I want to feel really, really extra and pretty, I will definitely throw in a wig. I have yet to try on a wig or my hair. I'm not sure if I need to slick it down so that the curls are not like showcasing through the wig. I don't, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to try a different style today, but I'm also going to try on one of my favorite wigs. Y'all know how I be feeling about my first wigs in RPG show. I already did a video on this wig, but this is one of my favorite wigs for 2023. It's the color for me. Okay. It's the color. It's like a gray color. And I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera like that, but it's gray and blonde and like a dark brown. This wig is everything wig is holding up to a T. Perfect. Today, I'm going to try this out because I've been trying to do the finger wave style for so long on my hair for these past few days. Like, so long is like, it's really been that long, but shit. As much as I've been trying it out, it has not been working out in my favor, okay? I don't know if it's because my hair is thinner or because the curls don't pop. Listen, let me tell y'all, I have tried so much foam. I have used so much foam. Um, I was using, this is what I had on standby, which is a lot of body. I had this on standby. I didn't have anything else. I did have this Strictly Curls Curl Enhancing Styling Foam, but that would have defeated the purpose. So I couldn't use that. So for this, it was working out really good. I liked it. It works good. It works well, but I don't have any like eco styling gel. Um, I don't have any of that, but look, I wasn't trying to go out and buy new products like the first couple of days. So I used this because I had bought this a while ago and never used it. Girl, y'all know how I feel about Aussie Insta Freeze, 20 hour maximum hold. It doesn't give you any residue. It doesn't make your hair crunchy or anything like that, but it works really well. And this is like the same consistency somewhat of like the um, Eco. So I do like this. I have yet to purchase the Eco. I mean, I can go downstairs and borrow my daughters, but I like this. So this works for me. Okay, so I'm gonna use that. But I did have Tati get on the way home from work. She did pick me up this. She went to the beauty supply store for me and I wanted to see other different wrapping foams. So I got this one by Bronner Brothers, which is the Tropical Roots for all hair type moisturizing sculpting foam. So I did use this um, last night to get these curls after I washed it. And um, so far it works. I mean, I do see the difference between the two. If you guys have a recommendation of a styling foam, can you please put it in the comments below? Also, I want to thank you guys all for leaving comments on my hair cutting tutorial or my hair cutting video of uh, the products that I can try out to get my hair to grow and also the things that I can do medically medically wise to see why my hair is falling out or what have you. But, you know, it's a good day. We all go through some stuff. You know, I just wasn't really happy with myself. But, girl, I'm, it is what it is. I stay strong and I stay positive. And, you know what I'm saying, God always is on my side. She got me these wave clips. Now, y'all remember these from back in the days, these wave clips, okay? I figured, let me try to get some waves. I want to see how these work out. So, first, we're going to see how the wig fits. Y'all know, I don't really be wearing stocking caps so much. So, I'm not really sure if I'm going to need one now. But, put a little bit of this in my hair, just so I can brush the hair back a little bit. But this is the first try on a wig, okay, since my hair has been this short. Now, maybe it is, maybe I do need to, I'm going to put on a stocking cap because my hair's not going to lay flat. I'm wondering how the wig is going to fit without my hair being, like, flat, flat, like my two cornrows. So, I hope y'all are having, like, a really great day. 
what y'all got planned i hope this video goes up by valentine's day uh what do y'all got planned for valentine's over here we call it galentine's okay ain't nobody got no well i ain't got no man but um when they got a boyfriend so i guess either way <laughs> it's called galentine's day over here um we'll probably go to like longhorn i love longhorn okay steakhouse so we'll probably go there leave in the comments what y'all gonna be doing okay leave in the comments but other than that you know i've just been chilling um working hard making my bracelets baby yes look at that okay i made a couple of sets of these and um it comes in a 10 stack there are five charms on each bracelet also rondell crystals are on them little rondell crystal spacers but five charms on each bracelet these are the eight millimeters and they're 10 in a set Girl, I had to make me one too, but I love them. These are really, really, these came out really, really cute. So I've been making my jewelry, making my bracelets and stuff, trying to figure out which platform I'm going to be using for my website. So I, I did really want to have these out by Valentine's Day, but that's not going to work. You know, if you want it to be perfect, you got to just keep on, you know, you got to take your time. Like I really wanted to have everything done by valentine's day but that's not gonna happen okay. Okay, the only so issue that i'm gonna have right now is i really can't um slip the combs in my hair so that's the one reason why i don't really like to wear a stocking cap but other than that i ain't really been up to much of anything i'm just trying to figure my life out you know what i'm saying like i want to stay positive about everything you know hold on guys i just i'm just trying to stay positive about everything you know and not let this year really get to me and stress me out i want to lose weight i'm still trying to lose weight but um girl listen it ain't is what it is but i know i'll get there it's called a journey for a reason you know what i'm saying it's called a journey for a reason i'm not trying to let certain negativity get to me you know i'm trying to stay positive all around the border okay who don't be you know i'm just trying to enjoy my existence while i'm here and make life a little bit easier the granddaughter is walking okay she looks so cute when she walks she's so little her little legs babies look funny when they walk mumsy says she looks like a penguin walking carrying an egg between its legs she looked like a walking penguin carrying an egg between its legs that's what mumsy said about her um but she's so sweet she's so tiny but she's so sweet but everything you know everything worked out great when I say everything worked out great, like for her, for my daughter, Tati, you know, for the kids. Now, granted, you know, sometimes you got to stay away from the toxic nonsense. And I did say this to y'all before, you know, I do have other family members that live here, like my son, my eldest, who is my son. He's 30. And then he also has his three sons. Well, it's unfortunate that sometimes you got to leave family alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never want to, like, not turn your back, but... How do I put this? Sometimes you just wanna you just wanna get away from all the toxic nonsense. You don't want to deal with the toxic toxic toxicity in your life. You you just wanna stay away from the negative. Some people like negative, some people like drama. And listen, I'm not knocking them because that's okay. If that's what you like, then that's okay to be that way. That's just not what I like. And we are all entitled to how we feel and how we carry on in life because that's you, okay? I can deal with it or not. But you know, like I'm saying, you know, my son is here and it's unfortunate, but um I had to kind of like stop speaking to him and kind of let him loose or like, you know, pull myself away from not the relationship, but I just had to pull back and, you know, cut ties. If that's what you want to call it. I don't deal with disrespect or no levels. And when you disrespect your mother and curse her and talk disrespectfully to her and about her to your siblings, then there's really no room for a healthy relationship with with us two and that's just how i feel so when i what i mean by that is i had to cut ties with him you know because you disrespectful you just disrespectful i am trying to be a better person on a daily okay and with that being said i'm not trying to come out of character i'm trying i'm not trying to allow anybody's negativity get to me anymore because life is very short and we take a lot of things for granted and certain things we have to learn to walk away from i had to learn to walk away from him you're 30 years old there's no reason why you should be disrespectful to me your mother when i'm trying to give you good advice on how to raise your children when your three-year-old is cursing people out to while trying to trick-or-treat because they want to give him candy. And then when you come and tell me the story about it, I'm supposed to laugh and kiki key along with you. No, I don't find that to be funny. And what I did say, I was very soft spoken to him when he told me about it. I did let him know, well, maybe you should nip that in the bud because it's not going to reflect good on you as a parent when he goes to school and he, and, and he you know, speaks or entertains other people or children. It's not a good look. There was a whole attitude after that. 
old you asking about him and then you want to be like now it's time for you to leave my home so you're not gonna come in my home and disrespect me i don't care who you are but you know it is what it is and it just sucks that sometimes you have to walk away from family members because of the way that they act but sometimes you gotta teach them a lesson like listen you're not gonna be on my phone line disrespecting and talking ill about me so let me just cut you and the phone line off and that's what i did you know it's a new year i'm gonna just think positive about a whole lot of things and people and just hope for the best for everybody so we're gonna try this wig on look i'm gonna try this wig on girl look i put it tight in the back and i put it to the tightest black um elastic band loops i hope i didn't put it too tight because look i still have a big head but this wig still is beautiful like i wore it a couple times it's gorgeous like i don't know what it is but i really like the color and i didn't really think that it was gonna go for me but girl listen this wig is bomb as hell okay plus you know you know my first wig girl now i normally don't put my wig on this way because i just find it to be a little awkward and i'm already awkward enough so last night my friend tay she had called me now, y'all only have two friends, but my friend Tay, she had called me and, I, you know, I do need to get out more. I do. We, 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 we was going karaoke in like every Wednesday faithfully. And then, you know, when the holidays came, we stopped going, you know, because it's the holidays. We got to, we got bills and stuff. So, you know, like I was saying, I was just kind of like in a rut. I was, you know, they had asked me to come out before, but I just really didn't want to. Last night she wanted to go karaoke in, but I just, I just didn't want to go anywhere. You, you ever get in a, it's, I don't know if you want to call it a rut, but you ever get in a, um, have you ever gotten a time in your life where you just want to chill? And I was trying, like, I really did want to go, but girl, I just, okay, so I'm the type of person, and I guess they would say I'm an introverted person, but and I guess that could, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's me. That's, this is who I am. And some people just don't understand that. A lot of people don't understand that about me. And they say, oh, well, you should get out more. You need to get out. But you don't understand. I'm comfortable where I'm at. I'm comfortable, you know, chilling here in the household. This, this is, this is me. This is how I've always been like one of those type of people who stay in the house a lot. Like I don't really, I'm not really a partier. I've never really been a partier. And a lot of people really don't understand that about me. When they say, oh, you got to get out more. You got to get out more. I'm comfortable in the house. I like being in the house. But so far, the wig, like, okay, so what I did notice, I did have to push the um the stocking cap back because I didn't want the, the band to show through the lace because the lace is so see-through. It does fit comfortably with it to the tightest loop and the tightest adjustment strap. The only issue, okay, I'm having right now in the back is that the wig is slipping up because I don't have no braids. But it does... It does lay good and flat. Yeah, it does lay good and flat. Well, let me use this. I'm gonna use this to see how it um foams the top down. Yeah, I'm not really trying to adhere it down like that because I wanna um I wanna try to get myself finger waves, but I wanted to try out this wig on my new ball head itself. This is one of my favorite wigs. And it's funny because all of my favorite wigs by my first wigs is like this blonde color or this brown color. Um, but the family is doing good, you know. Family's doing good. I'm just having issues with disrespect. Like nobody deserves to be disrespected. So sometimes you gotta let people just grow up on their own, regardless of their age. Sometimes you just gotta let people grow up on their own and figure stuff out. Because if you keep becoming to the rescue of people or keep allowing certain things, like, okay, granted, you apologize. You've apologized to me in the past, but it's for the same thing and you can't keep doing the same thing. You, you cannot keep doing the same things to me. So after a while, you have to definitely like put your foot down and let people know, like, this is not how I'm going to allow you to keep continuously treating me. And on top of that, I'm just not gonna allow it. You know, I think for me, I think I've been through enough. And I definitely don't deserve disrespect from anyone who I haven't disrespected, not, especially not from your own kids. But other than that, you guys, my life is, is cool, you know? I just try to take it day by day and I just try to stay positive whatever I'm doing. I went back to walking, so I don't go to the gym anymore. I go to walk, I walk in the morning. Hopefully that'll help me and I could get this weight down, okay? Because it worked the last thing, the last time. I know everything don't work all the time. Things don't work out in your favor like they should or like you want them to, but I'm just hoping and praying, girl, that this time around, when I keep walking continuously, that um, the way to come down. I got to get back in the motivational spirit. Like, you know how you get to a point in your life where, okay, like you just don't feel so motivated, you know? And I hate to feel like that. Like I want to be motivated at all times. I don't want to be a lazy person. I'm not a lazy person. I'm constantly, you know, doing things and trying to like make life better for not just me, but for my family. So, you know, I got to make sure that my health is good. So I've been, you know, back out there in my community where I live at, in the subdivision over here, whatever you want to call it. Um, just trying to get my little workout on, you know, 
just trying to get my little workout on, just trying to be a better person on the daily. Now, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Hopefully, I get this video up before then. I hope y'all all have a great Valentine's Day. Me and the girls, we're going to do Galentine's, you know, just me and the girls. And um, that's what we did last year. So, we're going to do Galentine's Day. Um, Y'all know I don't got no man. And, but listen, let me tell y'all, I am really happy being single. Like, you get to learn yourself and you ain't got to put up with no nonsense but your own self. Granted, I do get tired of hearing my own self. The one thing that I'm not digging, because y'all know I don't like to wear no stocking cap. And sometimes these stocking caps are are just like so like opaque you could just definitely see them um i don't want you to see my stocking cap like that i'm gonna take a little bit of this concealer and put it in the part this is the thing this is what i have to figure out so now that i gotta wear a stocking cap i mean i could mold my hair down but that's a lot to do just take that baby wipe and damp that concealer off the edges of the hair see the rest is the wig cap the wig cap is so hair like looking i seen these wig caps you guys um being advertised i think it was on instagram or youtube shorts i'm not really sure where i seen it but it was a few days ago they are swiss uh, uh, well not swiss like excuse me transparent stocking caps so i'm like well so how's that working out if it's a transparent stocking cap but now that i think about it i could surely use one of those transparent stocking caps and see all of this right here the lightest part is the stocking cap and this is the reason why i don't like to wear a stocking cap because it just comes off as very pale and yellowish under your wig it fits pretty good it's just that i have to have it on tighter now the one thing with this hair because you know it is processed to look this color so it tends to get dry if you don't like deep condition it but girl look this came out cute and the, the whole reason for this video was to see how it fits so the only thing i can't use the combs on the side which is okay because the wig fits good the back just keeps pulling up but i'll figure that part out you know i did have did i tuck it it lays to me i guess it kind of lays the same the only thing I know I'm not feeling is the braids. And sometimes the braids would get in my way, especially when I was, when they would come to party. And so in a certain area, you would see kind of like, a, not a lump, but it would be raised up a little bit due to the braids. So I will say that having short hair underneath the wig is definitely easier. I'm just not a big fan of like the wig caps because of the color. But girl, this hair is gorgeous. Now y'all see the like the gray colors on it. It's got like gray platinum colors. But the one thing you have to do when you get like processed hair, especially when it's processed with coloring, is you're gonna definitely need to um, deep condition it. I'm telling you guys, you cannot go wrong with a my first wig wig. Like this wig is bomb as hell. So the only issue that I have though with the wig is I wish just right here they would have kind of blended it a little bit better. I don't like it to be so choppy when it comes to where the color is at. But it's not like that throughout the wig. I think it's just like where I parted and. Let me see something. I want to see if I shift it over. I guess it just depends on how you're parting it. But for the most part, this wig is definitely a whole vibe. Like, it's giving me granny, giving me like granny 2.0. You know what I mean? It's, girl, look, I like some long hair. But I'm learning to, look, I'm learning to love the shorter styles. I mean, I have no choice, right? Because I'm not about to wear a wig every day. But girl, listen, it is what it is, okay? But okay, so now we're going to try, listen, I don't put the wig on, but we're going to try something. Look, I want to just see how I look. I'm going to attempt... I'm gonna attempt with you guys to try and do these finger waves in my hair. So, you know, the wig, I wanted to see how it fit and stuff on my head because this is one of my favorite wigs. Look, she stay on a mannequin and she look pretty all the time. This is one of my favorite wigs. I do got quite a few of uh, my first wigs and RPG show favorite wigs in my closet that um I love to death, okay? This is one of them. For 2023, boo, this is what I do, what I do. But let's okay, so here we go. All right, so I got the three inch. I got two sets of the three inch. Tati got these for me yesterday. So we got two sets of three inches and I got two sets of four inches. Things are not cheap like they used to be. I remember these things used to be a dollar. Okay, so the three inch was $2.79 and then the four inch was $3. Amazon wanted $12 um, for a set of 10. I'm thinking that the three inches are gonna be the ones that I need. Now, like, I think I mentioned this in another video. I am thinking about bringing Real Talk back. I just really, um, because I still get emails and I do respond to them. I just, you know, sometimes you gotta take a step back from a lot of negative, toxic things. Like I know everybody go through something and everybody have issues. But you know, when you have to deal with them on a daily and then you have your own issues on a daily, it just gets kind of hard. So that's why I had to like stop doing the live real talk and just stop doing the real talk in general because like I had my own ish going on. I had my own stuff going on and I needed to really focus on that and not like give my personal opinions because I'm not going to say I'm giving you advice. I'm giving you personal opinions. You can take it how you want to take it and you can run with it or not. But like I always say, these are my personal opinions. This is, I'm not nobody's therapist because girl, I need my own. I'm going to just wet my hair real quick. I already have this foam in my hair. 
but because I wouldn't, I have to do it again. You gotta put like a lot of foam. And that's the one thing that I just don't like to do is put like a whole bunch of product in my hair. It was so much foam, y'all. I was getting in my eyes. And because my edges are thin over here, I think that's what also makes it hard for me to, to like style my hair because I've been trying to cover up these this side and it's not even just my edges it's just my hair and people will say well it's just hair it'll grow not if it keeps falling out you want to know why i keep falling out like if i'm going to be bald let me be bald by choice all right um i watch a lot of videos on the finger waves and they put a lot of foam in it and so girl i put so much in it i'm like it's still not doing what it's supposed to do it's still not working out for me, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the back. That's the look. They do say practice makes perfect. All right, you guys. Now I'm going to put some gel. All right, now I'm going to use the gel. This is trial and error, baby. We're going to do this together. Okay. Thank you, Amazon. Out for delivery. Who on here is addicted to Amazon? Be on Amazon every day, looking at the same stuff every single day. Add it to my cart, okay? And then say, you know what? I'm gonna come back tomorrow and buy it. I love looking on there. I don't know why. Mainly I'll be looking on there for like um, stuff for my jewelry line. Granted, I don't buy a lot of stuff from there for my um, jewelry line, but I do buy enough, like certain things. Normally I, I purchase everything from China because um, I have my own vendors, you know what I mean? We don't do the third party here. And Amazon is like a third party. And the same things that I see on Amazon, I have noticed on like certain vendors or AliExpress. So now these are the four inch ones. Maybe I will need the four inch ones here. It all depends, I guess. Let's see. Okay. Um. First of all, let me tell y'all, I was going to put these in at night. God knows what I was thinking, because where was I going to get any sleep at? I was really going to put these in at night and look in the morning. I don't even know what I was thinking, because how was I even getting any sleep? And now I'm really trying to remember, what did I do back in the day? Because I did these, but I'm trying to figure out how did I do them? I know I didn't sleep in them. Maybe I did. You know, back in the day when you're a teenager and younger, you have a lot of oomph. You got a little bit more courage. You, 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 you can accept more stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you acceptable to more stuff. You could take a little bit more pain and stuff like that. So I can't remember if I slept in them back in the day or what, but um, girl, listen, I don't know why or what made me think that if I put these in my head at night, I was going to be able to get any type of rest. Let me tell y'all real quick, a story. This is, this is just like a story. It ain't a story time, but let me, let me tell y'all. So while I'm doing this, so, you know, I rent this home where I live at and we're responsible for like how the upkeep, the lawn and such like that. So I had this lawn guy for a couple of years now and his name is Julian. Basically, I had to find a new lawn guy, because, lawn, guy, lawn guy because he doesn't know how to communicate. What I mean by communicate is he'll say he's coming and don't come. He did that to me four times in one week and my lawn, my backyard was getting out of control because of due to the weather, right? So it started raining real bad here. And once it rains, the weeds come up. So anyway, he kept putting me on. Mind you, he owed me $20 from the last time because he was supposed to put this weed spray on and he didn't. He said he'll get me on a Tuesday and never came back. So he still owed me $20 on that particular service. Long story short, I had to find a new lawn guy. I looked on the, I think it's called the neighborhood app or the something like that it's called. I found a new lawn guy on there. He came over to the estimate, um, really nice guy. So I thought, right? I'm going to tell y'all why, because, you know, when he called me that day, he left him, I left a message on the app and he responded and called me, told me he would come over the next day and check it out. Now, the next day when he came over, my whole house on the outside was getting painted over. You know, they had paid for it to get painted over. So when he came, he looked at the back or whatever. And, you know, we standing out front talking and I was letting him know. He asked me what happened to the other guy. And I let him know, you know, he just wasn't responding. And I don't want to really break up a, a, a long guy relationship with him because I've had him in so many years. But I just felt like if you're not responding, and that means that you just have too many different excuses. On top of that, he had different excuses. I left it at that. So, you know, I was friendly to him, friendly in the aspect of I was cordial, I wasn't disrespectful, and I would treat him the same way I would want myself to be treated. You understand what I'm saying? Later on that day, he texts me talking about, it was really nice talking to you. I love your picture on the app. You're beautiful and all oh, this crazy. I was like, thank you. He was like, you're a really nice person. And I just was still trying to keep it cordial. And I was like, thank you. You know, I felt like, what? The, what? 
I just want my lawn cut. I don't, I don't, I don't want anything but my lawn cut. But I'm gonna try to be nice to you and not be disrespectful to you because I just want the service. I don't want no HOA fines. So I just want the service, okay? So I try to keep my temper. This is what I talk about when I tell y'all I'm trying to be a better person on a daily. Well, he came and did the lawn work. I went out front, thanked him, paid him his money. Like a week later, okay, a week later, why is he texting me talking about hi April? And I was like, hello, what's going on? And then I waited a minute, he didn't respond. I was like, can I ask you why you're texting me? I didn't find that to be rude. So he responds like, oh, wow, I thought we was friends. I said, first of all, I'm not trying to be rude to you, but I'm not your friend. I am an acquaintance or a business partner for who you cut their lawn. I don't know you to be your friend. He was like, oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Well, I was calling to see how the lawn is doing. I said, the lawn is fine. When I need your service again, I will let you know. I'm gonna have to find me a new lawn guy because I was very uncomfortable and awkward. And listen, if you're trying to be friendly to keep the business, just be friendly. You don't have to be telling me how beautiful I am, how you like talking to me and all of this. I don't need to hear all that extra nonsense. Just do the lawn and do the service and be friendly as a business friendly. You ain't got to overstep no boundaries and do no extra because I don't need no extra, okay? I just want my lawn cut. And the audacity, on top of that, you got your wife on your page. Like, do you really want me to contact her? Now, I don't really know how this is looking in the back, but girl, I'm trying. But I'm going to be honest and tell you, my hair is like fine and short. And I don't know if it's going to work out for these clips, but it's going to do what it's going to do. And we're going to see how it do. Like I said, I don't really know what possessed me to think that I was going to put these in my head. And then I was going to wake up overnight and get the outcome that I wanted. Because had I done that... I don't think I would have got any sleep at all, like straight up, no sleep at all. Okay, so look at this one. It's coming through. I just gotta let it dry. We're gonna see how it, ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited. But I do know that anytime I want to achieve this style, if it's achievable, I'm gonna have to do this during the daytime. I look like somebody's alien, okay? I look like something is really going on. I mean, I still look cute though, but I'm we're gonna come back in a little while after this dry and we're gonna see what the outcome look like. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna just go sit my behind down. Maybe I'm gonna edit a video or I'm going to make some more bracelets. I did want to try this real quick with you guys. This is like, okay, y'all ever been on Timu? I like Timu. Okay, they have some really cool stuff. I gotta post my video review up for Timu, but they have some really cool stuff. They remind me of an AliExpress, but I got these pencils from there. Are these pencils or lipstick, matte lipstick? Oh, you know what? I did try these on. I did try these on. I forgot. Um, but I like Timu. If y'all have y'all shopped on Timu yet, bro, I'm just rambling. Bro, I'll be back in a few. Okay. Hey guys, so I decided to blow dry instead of let it air dry. So that way, I'm, I want to go get Mumsy from school early so she and I can have a lunch date. And then we're going to go return something from Amazon to Kohl's. Y'all, I stay returning stuff, but I don't like it. Y'all ever watch that show? Um, I know y'all watch that show, especially if y'all old school. The Rugrats. Okay, so the Rugrats. Remember the little girl, the doll? You know the little girl on Rugrats, little blonde girl. She had that little doll. And the doll's hair was like all over the place sticking up. But that's what I'm feeling like I look like right now. Girl, look, hopefully it came out right, okay? I don't really know about the back, but it feels like it's good. Like I can feel like the shape of it. So I might've put too much product in here. Well, I did already have product in here. Okay, okay. You know, I just gotta mess around with it. Not bad, I mean, let's see. Now first, I gotta get me some little side hairs, okay? Cause you know, I already have like a long head and then I'm gonna mess with the rest. First I want to like, you know, get the baby hair thing or whatever hairs going. I got to kind of like camouflage away from my long head. And then I have to play around with this part right here. Cause it's like, you know, kind of thin. I also will use like that little, those fiber hairs. Know how I feel about this because I really don't know what to do. Okay, there's like too much product in it now to, to me. Look, this is what I came up with, okay? 
girl, listen, this is going to be like a struggle, okay? When I say this is going to be a struggle to find other styles, girl, this is going to be a struggle to find other styles. Like, this has been, like, so challenging over the past couple of days. And honestly, I don't really, I don't know how I felt about the finger waves, to be honest with you. Um, So I just kind of almost put it right back the same way I've been wearing it. But I don't really know how I feel about the finger waves because I have one of those long heads. So it's probably something that I, I definitely have to get used to. And I guess once it grows out more, I could find other styles. But the main thing is I just got to get used to like it being this short. One day I like it, then the next day I don't. You know, thank y'all for spending time with me on this long video. You know, I wanted just to see how my hair came out with the finger waves and I wanted to see how the wig fit, you know. So, and what better way to do it is with one of my favorite wigs, girl. I don't need no more disappointment. So let me just put on something that I know is going to work out for me. So I think I'm going to be wearing that on Valentine's or Galentine's Day, okay? Now I'm going to go get Mumsy and we're going to go have something to eat. Me and my little boy haircut. I'm going to just go for a neutral look. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the comments. Go, go, go. Go.